to the workforce, not just bringing themselves to, to work, but how can they really innovate and change the corporation and improve the business? Uh, I would probably say, um, you know, kind of to echo what Joe was saying before, I think there's a pretty unique, um, you know, to pat ourselves on the back a little bit, I think we see the world differently, right? We face different challenges, we're up against different sets of adversity, and I truly believe that when certain people face adversity and they come through it, they actually become uh, better people, and they come to work with better ideas and better approaches. So I would probably say that to any LGBT person like joining my company or at my college or whatever, I would say, you know, bring the way in which you see the world to work. Ask the tough questions. Grab the technology. If it doesn't work for you, change it. Jump in the innovation lab. Make it happen. Um, it's yours. That's what I would say. So I, I would say that uh, the way that uh, technology is evolving it, is it's amazing because um, you know AT and T, like other carriers, has monetized uh, solutions that were really adopted by twins and teens. If you think about instant messaging and text messaging. Those were unheard of ways of communication in the business world. You know, it wasn't secure, it wasn't something that was proven, uh, we didn't know if regulation would impede us from, you know, from communicating in that way because somebody was, God forbid, going to call the FCC and say, I sent an instant message and it wasn't delivered. Um, but, you know, those tweens and teens basically taught companies like AT&T and Sprint and other carriers that, hey, that is a monetary base. You know, that is a way that is going to make our consumers more productive. Um, you know, this is something that we need to think about. Uh, and so, you know, I would say that if there's a solution that you feel uh, makes you more productive, take it to work. Uh, share it with your colleagues. Uh, and and, and you will begin to see if, if it's something that you are passionate about, then others will become passionate about. Um, you know, um, one of the things that Bill said is that remember that we're human. And, you know, a significant amount of the development that we have done over the years has taken into account that human factor. You know, why is it that, you know, 10 years ago, people hated video conferencing? Well, they hated it because it was hard to use. You had to dial these special numbers, you know, um, and it never worked. You had to, you know, try it out the day before, and then you, when you used it that morning, it didn't work. So, um, you know, but now we have FaceTime. We have, um, you know, all these other ways, you know, of, of communicating across video conferencing. And all of those things were driven by the adoption of, uh, of people like you, you know, of how does this, how can I receive this? And then we took all that, the development teams took that human factory and said, okay, people want it to be easy. They just want to push the button and call one of their contacts or, you know, and so now, like, you know, you can't imagine that just because you're traveling to California that you can't have a video with your significant other. Um, and so, you know, I would say if there's a technology that you use, make sure that you share it with others because um, it will just have that ripple effect and, and it could become, you know, the, the next game table. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, just in closing, I would, say, I would say that in our adversity, we bring diversity. Um, and through the challenges that we experience as LGBT people, um, if you've ever been in the plaza, for any, for, for, whether, whether you've come out of the closet at a very young age, if you've ever had an experience where you weren't your true self because you felt threatened either physically or, or verbally or whatever, we understand what it's like not to be our, our, ourselves. And, and through that adversity, we're able to see things with a little bit of different eyes. I wouldn't say that it was necessarily better, better eyes, um, but different eyes. Some of us have that lacing, so I think <laughs> <laughs> There's an interesting uh, correlation that was done by um, a uh, demographer slash sociologist um, that was originally here over at uh, James uh, George Mason University, now uh, Canada, um, a guy named Richard Florida. He overlaid 
um, where technology, where these sort of ecosystems of technology are developing and bubbling up. And there was a fascinating map that, that, that developed. Is if you overlay that with the LGBT communities, there was almost a direct correlation. Well, why is that? I don't know, I don't have the answer to that. <laughs> but what I will tell you, though, is that we as LGBT people, when we come to work, we have the opportunities to serve as entrepreneurs within corporations. To go ahead and go to KPMG and say, you know what, I need a phone line because we need to be able to go ahead and push the ball. And that, for me personally, has rewarded my career. At the end of the day, we're all human. And um, economics teaches us that, for the most part, and by and large, we're going to get back in our own self-interests. Um, Adam Smith, the Invisible Hand, the, all those sorts of things, right? By and large, we're going to go ahead and act in our own self -interest. So, if, if we go ahead and we look at technology, and the ability to bring new technologies to work and serve as an entrepreneur, to develop innovative ideas, to make more productive new products, we have the opportunity to grow our careers within the organizations, to help those organizations see us as leaders. So the thing that I would say is that from an LGBT perspective, if you work for a corporation, is to be able to bring those ideas to people, and if, and if somebody tells you no, go to somebody else in the corporation. Because they tell you no, call Joe. Yeah, come to me, because I will go ahead and help you find a venture capitalist. It's a good idea, we'll find a venture capitalist. Because the opportunity to grow your career, to grow the, the corporation, and develop new ideas, is really from thinking of an entirely different way. Fantastic. Well, 